What's good you guys and welcome back to the channel. And as you see, we outside today. I figured it's springtime, so let's get out the studio and get some fresh air. And a couple of weeks ago, I got a comment from Saint Love 4161 that said, this was in my suggestions. Glad I clicked. Super inspiring. Thank you for sharing. I remember when I first lost 70 pounds, it weirded me out that people treated me so differently because in my head, I was the same person. We'd we'll love to hear about your social experiences post weight loss. So I figured today would be a good time to talk about that and have you guys walk with me. Let's get it. All right, you guys, as you see, it's pretty windy out here, so ignore the wind. But I figured I'd start out with my family and my friends, closest people to me. And I guess when I first lost weight, I thought people's reactions would be like bigger, like their jaws would drop to the floor. But that really wasn't the case. And I think it was because uh, my family and my friends, they really like loved me, I guess, for who I was on like my inside so they didn't even really notice just like how I don't notice and I'm sure you guys don't notice uh your friends and your loved ones how they their insecurities you just love them as the being that they are and so uh it did it took until I until I lost about 50 pounds for people to really realize that I was like losing massive amount of weights because I kept it on the hush uh, because I stopped and started weight loss so much that I didn't want to start again and then fail and people be like, I thought you were losing weight. But um, so after I lost the first 50 pounds, um, some coworkers, some friends would be like, have you been in the gym? You're looking great. And I was like, they were very timid because they would, didn't want to be offensive. But I was like, yeah, I lost 50 pounds. And they were like, oh, wow. And then that's when really the compliments started to happen. But there was really no change with how uh, my family and my close friends uh, really interacted with me. But um, it, how I viewed myself with them, uh, that's what increased. And I just felt more comfortable with myself and I just liked that they supported me and made me feel uh, good about myself and always have been. So it just felt good to know that I have solid people in my life. So I'm grateful for that. And another thing, it was funny. One of my homies told me that they were like, after I lost like all my weight, they were like, bro, I'm sorry. I used to uh, make insensitive jokes about big people not even realizing that you were struggling with it. And it's just so funny to think about how they didn't even see that me struggling with it, uh, that they could feel so comfortable to still just like make those jokes. But we all grew past that and it's just funny to look back on that now. All right, and next I'll talk about like me, my interactions with strangers and meeting people for the first time. Um, I'm much more confident uh, meeting like strangers and introducing myself. Still not perfect, you know, I'm still pretty awkward at times, but it's better, better, way better now. And I feel like when I first met people back when I weighed 440 pounds, I felt like that's all they saw. Like that's all they saw is like a huge man. And I'm sure that they were acknowledging to themselves like, wow, this is a big man. But, you know, they probably weren't completely judging me as harshly as I thought they were, at least. And um, that was uh, my, probably my biggest hurdle. One of my biggest hurdles with that is like thinking, oh, wow, these people, they don't see me for like who I am. They just see like this huge guy who is probably lazy, smelly, um, I don't know, just all the negative things that you think of when you see like a, a morbidly obese person, which is just not the truth. And then, but like I'm sure with you at home or anyone, whatever your insecurity is, you think of yourself as being way more gross and way more, I don't know, ugly, fatter than you actually are. So. It's nice that I can walk in a room now and feel pretty cool about myself and just let people see me for who I am. And uh, they might compliment me on like being muscular or something. And it's a nice way to tell them my story and nice icebreaker, I guess. 
All right, next, let's talk about Z ladies. Um, I, even when I was 440 pounds, I always been a lady killer. I mean, the ladies couldn't get enough of me. They... All right, all right, all right. I'll tell the truth. Nah, but it's interesting because, you know, obviously like I'm in the gym more, so I've had put on muscle and word on the street as girls like that. So I've gotten more looks uh, and more girls come up to me and talk to me more than when I obviously was 440 pounds. But I think the biggest thing is my confidence really went up in myself. And I really wish when I was 440 pounds that people that I would have been more confident and still would have like talked back with girls and been more proactive still because I do think that uh, my pool of women that I could have talked to or dated uh, was bigger than I allowed myself to uh, navigate because I uh, was in my head. So I was like, oh, I don't, uh, this girl's being nice to me, but she's never going to uh, date or talk to a big guy. And I was like, and that's just not the truth for every case. Like, you know, people aren't as, uh, I don't know, superficial as I was giving them credit for. But yeah, I would say that if you're like that big or even if you're abnormal size, just be confident in yourself, especially as a man. Like if you're confident in yourself, girls are gonna like that more than uh, anything, even if you are uh, a bigger person. So I guess to wrap it up, has my like, have I gotten any more interactions with girls after I lost weight? I guess so, yes. But um, just be more confident, like, cause that's probably the biggest thing is I got more confident with myself and so, that's better, I guess. All right, let's find some shelter because it's getting rainy. It's starting to rain out here. All right, you guys, I found shelter. <laughs> and the last thing I wanna to touch on is my social interactions with myself, how I view myself. And when I was 440 pounds, my biggest crit critic was myself. Like I talked so negatively about myself because yeah, it is you that can control your weight. It's you that's not getting up and being active. It's you that's not eating correctly. So you're gonna be harsh, more harsh on yourself. So after I lost that amount of weight, I do feel better about myself looking in the mirror. And it's not even more so about like what I'm seeing physically. It's more so about accomplishing a goal that I always set for myself since I was like a young kid. I always wanted to be fit and active, like my cousins I saw, like my brother, like my dad, mom. And it, uh, I was always like, you know, the chunky kid and teen and high schooler that was running behind everyone. And now that I accomplished this goal, it, I have a sense of accomplishment and the sense of pride in myself. So when I step into a room, I know my story and I feel more better about myself physically and mentally. And I just feel like I have a story to tell now. And looking in the mirror now these days, I'm like, you look good kid and you did it. You're in over, and the biggest thing is you're healthy and you're gonna live longer. So I would just say to anyone who is starting this journey in the middle of their journey or ending their journey, just the biggest thing to keep in mind is self-love and confidence. If you have self-love and confidence, you'll be able to navigate any social situation and you'll feel better about how uh, you feel about people and how people feel about you. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Do you like uh, being out and walking with me or do you want to see me back in the set? <laughs> let me know. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. And if you don't already, follow me on all my social media accounts. I love talking to you guys on there. And as always, I will see you next week. Let's go.